Hello students, welcome you all. In uh, mass spectrometry, today I will explain the ionization techniques and in ionization techniques, in my previous lecture, I gave you the uh, categorization of ionization technique, methods, various methods of ionization technique. Like in categorization, I told you about the soft and hard ionization technique and in uh, method, various methods of ionization technique, I told you the gas ionization technique then desorption technique and evaporation techniques like this. So in this lecture, so in previous I already I have discussed the chemical ionization technique in detail. Now here I will discuss the desorption technique and in desorption technique I will tell you the field desorption technique and fast atom bombardment technique. So now let us see the desorption technique. So I will discuss here the desorption ionization technique and the first one is the FD that is field desorption technique and here in field desorption technique what I told you in brief in my previous lecture here we use the electric field and this is also, no doubt, this is the category of soft ionization technique. This is soft ionization technique so that uh, we may get the uh, good uh, molecular ion. So fragmentation is less. Yeah, what I told you, less fragmentation, less fragmentation, and very less fragmentation and intense intense molecular ion peak appears in this case and usually if this technique is used for the small ions used for uh, used for small molecule not for very big molecule like this peptide or like this so this is used for the small molecules and here uh, the the molecule any if sample is there then sample is first absorbed uh, on the uh, on some uh, micro needles sample is first absorbed on the micro needles and then it is desorbed under the influence of electric field so first of so suppose if we have a sample then first and uh, let us see the this simple diagram for this if we have a suppose sample then uh, the sample is uh, sample is placed over the is, so this is a probe you can see this is the probe this is a probe and here uh, this is your congestion wire this is our congestion wire and these are the micro needles. These are carbon micro needles. These are carbon micro needles. And here, uh, this probe is uh, connected with the uh, some electric field over here. So we have an electric field, and suppose this electric field, high electric field and 8 kilo volt electric field supply so this is connected with this and now here on this carbon micro needle a sample is absorbed over the this carbon micro needles okay the sample is absorbed how we can so sample is first what we can write and suppose now so if sample is absorbed and then in presence of electric field this sample or this uh, uh, molecule and sample molecule it will and it will dissolve into the molecular ion it is dissolved into the molecular ion and then finally it passes into the passes from the uh, slit so this is our slit and finally it will ionized it will analyzed by the mass analyzer this is a simple uh, diagram you can see this is finally analyzed for the mass analyzer. So what we may say that first of all the sample is absorbed 
or first the sample is suppose it is a liquid sample then these micro needles are dipped into the liquid sample if it is solid then it is uh, again it is a, a, uh, it is the solid sample, the powdered sample is placed over this micro -meter. So first, the sample is sample is absorbed absorbed over the over the carbon micro -meter. carbon micro -meter. and in presence of then in presence of electric field a uh, high gradient is developed so in presence of electric field a high gradient developed over micro needle and and the sample get dissolved sample get dissolved into molecular ion is dissolved into the molecular ion. So this is the uh, field ionization technique in a simple way we can understand and it uh, takes place this technique is used under the influence of the electric field. Now so another technique is the fast atom bombardment technique. So let us see the next soft ionization technique which is the fast atom bombardment technique so which is also called as the FAB that is FAB so in fast atom bombardment technique the here mainly uh, in previously uh, you see the electric field was used in this case uh, inert gas uh, accelerated inert gas is used which interact with the uh, this sample so here first of all in as this is a soft ionization technique again this is a soft technique the soft ionization technique and the no doubt the fragment ion formed is uh, very less and we get the intense molecular ion peak in this case also intense molecular ion peak is we get the intense molecular ion peak and usually this is used for the uh, it is used for the big molecule used for used for high molecular weight high molecular weight sample for example, peptides. For peptides, we can we use as this technique is technique is used. So in this case, first of all, the sample is mixed with some matrix, and this matrix should be a non-volatile. Okay, so non-volatile, or we can say a, the a low vapor pressure matrix. So first of all, here the first sample is mixed with matrix or we can say mixed with non-volatile matrix non-volatile matrix some of the example of this matrix for example matrix example is like glycerin glycerol we can say glycerol or thioglycerol we may use okay. three nitro benzyl alcohol can be used or we may use uh, 
this uh, diethanol amine, we may use diethanol amine can be used or sometimes uh, simple methanol amine can also be used as a matrix. Okay, so this can be used. And then this sample metric mixture that is uh, bombarded with a uh, accelerated inert gas. And sample metric mixture is bombarded with accelerated inert gas accelerated inert gas for example we may use the neon as accelerated molecular uh, near uh, inert gas or we may use the argon inert gas can be used and then uh, here after bombardment after bombardment, we get the, some peaks will appear as a quasi molecular ion peak can appear because why this quasi molecular ion? Because uh, that what I told you, the quasi molecular ion peak has the uh, mass number, it may be higher than the uh, mass number of the uh, molecule or sample molecule, or it may be less, or sometimes adapt can also be formed. So, here this matrix which is used over here. This matrix usually it may be quite acidic or it may be less acidic or highly acidic. So if matrix is highly acidic, then in that case it will transfer the proton. And if it is less acidic, then it can accept the proton. So if, if matrix is highly acidic, highly acidic, then it will no doubt it it will transfer the proton to form quasi molecular ion peak that is MH and suppose if matrix is less acidic then it will accept the proton accept the proton from sample to form m minus h p that will appear in this case okay this will appear so suppose if we have a glycerol we have a glycerol then glycerol being the acidic one so glycerol being the acidic so it can transfer the proton to the after interacting with the this molecule interacting with the sample then it can transfer the proton to form the m plus h peak m plus 1 peak will appear in this case and this glycerol is at the matrix phase being yeah, this, but I told you this. This can be recovered. This can be removed. It could be removed. So, so what I told you, uh, this is mixed with the, and uh, this is sample matrix mixture is bombarded with the accelerated uh, inert gas. Suppose if we have a, uh, suppose if we have a probe containing the, this is suppose a probe, and here uh, on this probe we take a some mixture sample matrix mixture is placed over this probe this is our sample matrix mixture mixture okay and so this is and this is now bombarded with this is bombarded with inert gas bombarded with accelerated inert gas so for example it may be neon or argon and 
what will happen and uh, this uh, this will convert the this will convert the molecule into the this quasi molecular ion that would be formed uh, which is then detected by the detector it will pass to the slit so this is slit and here we have the analyzer mass analyzer where it is finally detected so like this okay so first what you suppose if we have a uh, this neon or argon so neon argon accelerated neon argon so first if we have a neon then uh, it will form uh, this neon after losing electron though the removal of electron is quite not easy from this neon and then it will again it will combine with excess of this neon to form a accelerated neon you get the accelerated neon in this case like this this accelerated neon is formed like this so in the same way we get the this accelerated organ can be there so this is about the uh, this uh, fast atom bombardment technique that is fab thank you